What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are talking some more UFL because we actually have a release date. Yes, I'm not messing with you. I'm actually very surprised about this. I'm shocked that it's so close. Less than a month. Well, about a month. Sorry, just over a month. Um, and we are going to have UFL out in the wild. Now, obviously, they had two open betas. I'm going to talk about that in a second and my thoughts and like where I think UFL is going to sit in. It is a free to play game, obviously. But just to, to get through a couple of bits and pieces, they're talking about obviously, you know, having this free to play, fair to play. Um, it's very kind of looking like that they want to take on both FIFA and eFootball. Um, but it is obviously more FIFA ish or EAFC ish uh, in terms of like the modes, the menus. And there's a lot that I like about the game. But they do have a release date of September 12th, which for me personally, somebody that enjoyed the first beta and didn't really enjoy the second beta, I think this is, this is a huge huge risk i think and it's a massive move for them it's it has potential this is the thing with the game we'll get into that in a second but i definitely thought that this game was a lot further uh, away honestly i did after playing the second beta i thought that we wouldn't be seeing this for a while but it is coming september 12th they also have a brand new 15 euro or i think it's 12 pounds depending on your currency they have this premium free to play starter pack it's 15 quid over on the PSN store. The game is free to play. It's 100% free to play and free to download, but this will be 15 euro or 12 pounds or whatever your currency is, and this is what it includes. So it's gonna give you seven day early access if you download this or you pre-order this and pay for it. It's also gonna give you exclusive customization items, shirts, boots, gloves, a new stadium, and 20 million in-game currency as well. And you can just get ready. It says get ready to the max, right? It says that it'll be free to play to launch at September 12th. Obviously, you get the seven-day early access with this. Uh, honestly, man, we're going to have a bit of gameplay playing in the background, right? But that is kind of the news on it. It's releasing the 12th of September. And then, obviously, you're going to have seven days early access. So, the 5th of September. So, it is less than a month if you pre-order that pack. So, these are clips and highlights from our last stream. If you want to go and check out the full stream, you can do so, right? This is a team that we started with just to kind of have this going on in the background. Now, I've talked about, and I did talk about a lot in the stream, what I liked about the game. But I'm just, I am honestly a little bit shocked that this game is coming so quickly. I mean, you're talking about coming between EAFC and obviously eFootball 2025. And say what you like about eFootball 2025, whether you're a big fan of the series, whether you're enjoying eFootball 2025, or if you're enjoying EAFC. This is, I think this is a big kind of move for UFL, that they're basically saying, listen, we want to put the game out for everybody. We don't want betas, we don't want anything. We're putting the game out as an early version of the game, and we're going to get feedback. Now, the biggest risk that they run with this is similar to what happened with the eFootball beta 0.9. That was pretty much dead on arrival for a lot of people, and it took months. And I would say probably a full year for Konami to get back people to try the game. And that could be potentially what's going to happen with UFL. I've talked about some of the good stuff that I like. I like the unlockables. I like the grind in the game so far. Um, I like how you upgrade your squad. I like the skins where you can upgrade your players. I like the way you give skills. The biggest problem for me, and I hope that they're open to the feedback, they seem to be very receptive of the feedback, is on the pitch action. The off the pitch action lens is really nice. There's a nice UI. There's some nice stuff that you're able to go on and do. You can buy players. There's no gimmicks. There's no, you know, randomness. It's like, right, you want to give Saka uh, the, uh, the ability to be able to play left wing in, or an attacking midfielder. Boom. Train him up, get his XP, and then give him a skill. It's very easy, very grindable, very straightforward, and it's very clean. The UI is very clean. It's fast. It's responsive. This is given a skin here to him, which is going to give him, you know, it's a three tier skin. A card set is activated when you apply more than three skins from the same tier or the same set. And that's going to improve his awareness, ball control and attack positioning. Um, and then also you can give him the skills as well. I like all this. I also like the reputation cap. I like that you can't just have like an unbelievable squad at lower divisions. This is definitely something that Konami need to do. And probably EAFC as well. That like if you're down a lower division you can't just buy your way to the top with brilliant players. And this is given the skills here as well if you want to train up the skills. So that is a lot of the stuff that I like. Now, on the pitch action, right, and give you my thoughts on that. We've already covered, look, it's coming out the 5th of September, right? That's not that far away. I mean, honestly, it's right bang in between, like, the main portion of, you know, obviously the Premier League is starting back. Um, and then, obviously, we're going to get all the new football games as well. Apologies about the quality of the video as well. As I had to download this because the stream, uh, something happened to recording with the stream. But anyway, you can just kind of tell the flow of the game, right? They've definitely improved from the first beta uh, to the second beta. They've improved the dribbling. They've improved the goalkeepers. 
But there's just, for me, there's something missing about this game, man. I don't know what it is. It just kind of felt a little bit kind of samey to play. I don't know what it was. It was like, I, the first beta I liked. I liked the grind of it. I liked playing it. Maybe it was the freshness and the newness of it. Um, and you'll see, like, some of the passages to play. The passing is very basic and stuff like that. Some of the goals that you get are quite basic cut-ins. I think the biggest problem with this game is the repetition of the attacks. Um, and also, I do love the manual defending. But the manual defending is also tied to what seems to be like a lack of response. That when you switch your player, there is that lack of kind of response to really go from an attack position to a defending position. And that cost me a lot of goals in this beta. Now, that's not to say, in my opinion, that is this game, like the dribbling there and a the nice finish. This game is not dead on arrival for me in terms of if they continuously improve it. I would be a massive hypocrite to say that like eFootball launched spectacularly. I mean, we remember the memes, we remember everything on eFootball 2020, well, eFootball 2020, really, when it came out. It was just eFootball, um, 0.9 beta, and then obviously it transitioned into 1.0, and now we're going on to 4.0, which is eFootball 2025. But there is, there is room for this to develop and to grow. But for me at the moment, I do think that there is a lot of work needed. I think this is even behind where eFootball was when they released their beta. Again, maybe that's a little bit of my bias coming in. As I said, there's a lot of stuff that I like about it. We buy Caicedo here and throw him in midfield. He made a bit of a difference. But I just feel the core mechanics of the gameplay are what needs to be worked on. You know, like the goalkeepers, they've improved. The dribbling, they've improved. Um, but then the passing, the shooting, the defending... All of that sort of stuff needs more animations. It just needs to be refined and more polished. I do feel that EAFC this year is probably going to get one more year out of it being like a fully featured, you know, version of the game. I do think if they transition into like even having one mode, if they made Ultimate Team free, I don't know, you know, there had been rumors of that. I don't know where UFL would actually fit in to, you know, the ecosystem of that. Because obviously this has a big thing going for it is that like there is no investment into this game that it's free to download. It's the same as eFootball 2024 or eFootball 2025. There is no investment into this game. You literally can download it, you can play it for a day, you can play it for a month, you can play it for a year, you can delete it, you can download it again, you can download it anytime you want, it's free, there's no investment, only what you decide to put in in coins, um, and the game gives you a lot of, you know, stuff to actually log in for if you're a casual player, you know, with, with a lot of stuff. And I think UFL will do that as well, but I do feel at this stage with the game, I do feel like that it needs a lot more polishing. And I would say that it's probably, it's hard to, it's hard to know. It's hard to know what they're kind of going for with this. Maybe they are like just trying to get the game out like eFootball War and just say like, look, we know it's not ready. We want it to launch. And then we want to get like a massive sw like swarm of feedback back. What is the things that people are really not liking? I think if you download this and you haven't played it yet, I think even if you go into it with your, you know, glass half full, like really eyes wide open and receptive of this being your main football game going forward, you can play this game. Like it is playable, but I do feel that you will start to see the issues sooner than you'll start to see the issues in EAFC or eFootball. Now I'm talking about somebody that has no, um, you know, like if you've played EAFC and you're fed up with it, of course you're going to be looking at it through a lens of, yeah, this has to wow me. And the same with eFootball. But I do feel like that this game has small bit of potential if they actually feed, use the feedback effectively. But as for now, I am very surprised that it's releasing within a month, um, you know, within the next, what, four weeks? But let me know what you guys think. Honestly, I'm still a little bit shocked. Obviously, they had the trailer there. They probably want to get the game out. That's my thoughts on it from first beta to second beta. I thought the first beta was a breath of fresh air. It was fun. It had potential. And now I just feel like that this one, I just felt that it was like, no, it needs more time it's definitely not ready for launch. Um, but then they could be using that to their advantage. So let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.